What's up guys, Chris from Closet Weave here, and we're back in my closet to watch episode 12 of Mushishi. So last episode was like the first episode I could say I was really confused about, but thank you so much Frenchie for taking time to break it down for me, and uh, when I look back on it, everything made sense. Uh, Mujika, or Ginko was trying to save Mujika, but he understood that there really was no other choice. Um, being the guardian of the, the mountain was way too much for a regular human to handle. Uh, so the Kuchinawa was the correct choice to have to take over the job. And like you said, it was crazy to think about how, how far someone's loved one will go for, uh, go for each other. Mujika's wife uh, <laughs> killed the boar and fed it to, fed it to him just so he, he wouldn't leave the leave the village and then Kodama took over as the new leader it seems like of the village um, but Mujika was still uh, teaching him lessons on how to how to survive alongside Mushishi or alongside as a Mushishi uh, because yeah he was able to see Mushi <clears throat> and then Ginko wanted to help like I said but he understood too that it was the right choice Mujika made just to maintain balance in the, on the mountain. So yeah, thanks again Frenchie for breaking it down. Um, let's see what Ginko gets into next. Let's jump into episode 12 of Mushishi, uh, One-Eyed Fish. Uh, Ginko got long hair. Wait, that doesn't sound like him. <laughs> Is that Ginko? Hmm. He can see the Mushi. That's Ginko, right? Because he had one eye. But it doesn't sound like him. Hmm. Wants you out of there, kiddo. Hmm. Ew, Yoki. Jeez. Another giant Mushi. Is that one a guardian too? Oh, that's a leg, and that's a body. Oh, that's him? Oh, that's him and his mom? What the frick? Dang, they got hit with a mudslide. Oh, more mushy. Dang, he's leaving his mama. He remembered what happened. Ew. Pure white with green eyes. Dang. It's just like this person. All white, green eyes. Mushi, so mysterious. Is this Ginko? <laughs> Darkness. That reminds me of the very first episode of Perpetual Darkness. Oh. Can't be exposed to that light. <laughs> oh, 
Toka Yami. Just like the the character in My Hero, Tokoyami calls him Ginko. Okay, so this is in Ginko. Bunch of Mushi. Oh, is this Ginko? Is the smoke? <laughs> Good try, kid. Good try. Nui. Dang. Can see in the dark. Ooh. Oh, is that what happened? Did Ginko forget himself? This has to be Ginko. What? The he has like the memories of someone else? Yeah, did Ginko take on the memories of someone else? Uh, another confusing episode. No. Who wants you to leave? Or she? I don't know what to think. Yo, we gonna do some... Some poking and prodding around? Jeez. Okay, she. She doesn't want him. Oh. You have awakened Ginko. Tokoyami. Oh, there's the light he's talking about. Don't look at the light, your eyeball. Oh, it's taking its eye. Oh, it's gone. What? Trying to learn from it. Yeah. Dang, so even when she took him out, they just turned to Tokoyami anyways? Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, this is just sound like a dangerous place. Get out of there, Yoki. Don't be exposed. Dang, so Yoki's out on the road? Oh, the light is back. You're about to disappear. Oh, you're getting taken. Mm. 
No, she's gone. Ooh. Tokoyami Nui. She gone. Oh, Yoki. Oh, goodness me, Yoki. What did you do? You're joining the dark side. Just listen to her, Yoki. Dang, you gotta sacrifice one of your eyes, bro. What is, it, what is happening? Ginko? So Ginko is the darkness? Jeez. That thing is sick too. What the heck? Like a dragon or something. Or a giant sea serpent. Whoa. He's freaking darkness. Oh, that's how Ginko was born? <gasps> what? This is a flashback? Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dang, this whole time it was a flashback. I got goosebumps after that. What? That's a young Ginko. Dang. Whoa. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> He does he already learned not to stay at one place too long because of the Mushi. Holy crap. This episode was crazy. The whole time I thought Nui was just like Ginko with someone else's memories, but this whole episode was just the birth of Ginko. Dang. So yeah. As a kid he was able to see Mushi. That tragic story with his mom, they were traveling around, got taken out by a mudslide. Yoki, his original name, gets taken in by Nui, living by a pond where there's a, there's a giant Mushi that was named Ginko and had the characteristics of a Tokoyami. Um, he tried to find out more about the Tokoyami and ended up getting consumed by it and uh, Nui was trying her best to to research it and just yeah I guess her her time was up basically from spending too much time there and seeing the light and it took her all the way through turned her into Tokoyami and Yoki tried to get save her ended up going in there Sacrificing his right eye, and that's how Ginko was born. Whoosh, whoosh, mind blown. This show is so cool. Alright, I'm sure there was like some deeper meaning, just like uh, Nui was saying. You know, not to, not to fear the Mushi because they're just there. They're living their own thing. 
they're the intelligent ones so they have to try and find ways to like coexist with the Mushi and yeah not to be not to be afraid of it and not to be afraid of the unknown um but yeah another great episode of Mushi Shi this show is just really interesting I'm, I'm loving it so can't wait to see what happens next uh if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next one